Imagine waking up tomorrow to discover that everything you've ever experienced, the earth, the stars, even your own memories and thoughts, could be part of an elaborate simulation. This isn't a premise from a science fiction novel, it's a serious scientific and philosophical hypothesis that has been pondered by some of the greatest minds in contemporary thought. The simulation hypothesis suggests that all of reality, including the earth and the universe, is potentially an artificial simulation, continuing to challenge our understanding of the world and raising profound questions about our existence. Philosophy often deals with the fundamental nature of reality, existence, and knowledge. The simulation hypothesis introduces a new layer to these traditional debates by questioning the very reality we perceive. Is what we experience as reality actually just a high-resolution simulation? This question not only challenges our preconceived notions about the physical world, but also probes the nature of consciousness itself. Could consciousness be a programmed artifact within this simulation, devoid of any physical substrate? These questions bridge philosophical inquiry with technological speculation, suggesting profound implications for our understanding of existence. While primarily a philosophical and technological conjecture, the simulation hypothesis does not exist in a scientific vacuum. Physicists and computer scientists ponder its feasibility, discussing the immense computational power required to simulate an entire universe. From a theoretical physics perspective, some suggest that certain anomalies in quantum mechanics could hint at underlying digital layers to our reality. However, the actual creation of such a simulation would require technology far beyond our current capabilities and understanding of the universe. This part explores how close science is to making the simulation hypothesis a testable reality, and what advancements in technology would be necessary to achieve such a feat. To date, there is no direct empirical evidence to support the simulation hypothesis. However, it remains a popular subject of discussion among some circles in the scientific community. Researchers in fields ranging from quantum computing to cosmology are interested in potential signs that could suggest we are living in a simulation. For instance, unusual behaviors at the quantum level or unexplainable cosmic phenomena could potentially be glitches or artifacts of a simulation. This section discusses the ongoing scientific inquiries and experiments that could one day provide evidence for or against the reality of our being in a simulation. If we accept the possibility of living in a simulated universe, this realization could have significant ethical implications. How should we treat other simulated beings? Do traditional human rights still apply in a simulated context? Moreover, this hypothesis could alter our perceptions of free will and predestination, as these concepts may be merely parameters set by the simulator. This part examines these ethical dilemmas and how they might reshape our societal and moral frameworks. The idea that we might be living in a simulation carries with it not just scientific and ethical implications, but profound existential ones as well. If our reality is not real in the traditional sense, what does that mean for our personal and collective sense of purpose? This discussion extends into the realm of existential philosophy, where the focus shifts from proving the hypothesis to understanding its implications on human life and consciousness. The simulation hypothesis has permeated popular culture seen in films like The Matrix and discussed in various literary and media outlets. This cultural fascination reflects broader societal interests and fears about the nature of reality and technology's role in our future. This part explores how society at large reacts to and incorporates the simulation hypothesis into the cultural zeitgeist, influencing everything from entertainment to philosophical discourse. Despite its speculative nature, some theorists propose methods to test the simulation hypothesis. These methods include looking for computational anomalies, 
or attempting to create smaller scale simulations ourselves, which might reveal characteristics indicative of our own existence within a larger simulation. This section delves into the scientific and experimental approaches that could potentially provide evidence supporting or refuting the simulation hypothesis. Philosophy has long grappled with questions about the nature of reality and our perception of it. The simulation hypothesis finds roots in these ancient quandaries, particularly in solipsism and external world skepticism. Nick Bostrom's seminal paper introduced a compelling trilemma. Either human civilizations go extinct before becoming technologically advanced, no advanced civilization is interested in running simulations, or we are almost certainly living in a simulation. This section unpacks these options and discusses why the notion of living in a simulation warrants serious consideration. Could our universe be a vast, digital computation? This section examines the current state of simulation technology including virtual reality and artificial intelligence, and projects what advancements would be necessary to simulate entire conscious experiences. Furthermore, we delve into aspects of quantum mechanics such as the observer effect and quantum indeterminacy, which could hint at a simulated reality. Are there physical limits like the Planck length that suggest a pixelated universe? This part explores these intriguing questions. Despite its fascinating premise, the simulation hypothesis is not without its critics. Philosophically, it raises issues such as the paradox of self-simulation and the infinite regress of simulators. Practically, detecting whether we live within a simulation presents significant experimental challenges. This section reviews the major philosophical objections and the practical difficulties in proving or disproving this hypothesis. Accepting the possibility that we are living in a simulation can have profound implications for science and philosophy. It challenges our approaches to scientific inquiry and our understanding of consciousness. Culturally, the hypothesis influences how we perceive technology and reality, often reflected in popular media. This part discusses the broader impact of the simulation hypothesis on society and cultural norms. How much computational power would be needed to simulate the entire universe or just a human brain? This section considers the immense complexity involved in creating a realistic simulation of our world. We also explore whether observable patterns in nature, like fractals and cellular automata, could be evidence of underlying algorithmic processes. If we are living in a simulation, what does that mean for our understanding of reality? This section discusses the ethical implications of such a scenario, including how we should treat other potentially simulated beings. It also examines how our perceptions and consciousness influence our interpretations of the world around us. This part provides an overview of the ongoing research and potential experimental methods that could offer insights into the simulation hypothesis. It also discusses the role of advancements in artificial intelligence, both in developing simulations and possibly in discovering them. Exploring the simulation hypothesis intersects with ideas about the technological singularity the point at which AI could surpass human intelligence. This section speculates on future technologies that could simulate realities, create sentient beings, and considers how different scientific disciplines could contribute to our understanding of this complex hypothesis. The simulation hypothesis resonates with various philosophical ideas throughout history, from Plato's allegory of the cave to Eastern philosophies that view reality as an illusion. This part examines how these ancient philosophies and modern cultural elements shape our understanding of and reactions to the simulation hypothesis. Believing in or rejecting the simulation hypothesis has psychological and sociological consequences. This section explores how such beliefs influence behavior, cognitive dissonance, and the formation of new social and cultural movements.
Today, the technology required to simulate a universe with the complexity and detail of our own is beyond our reach. However, parallels with video game development provide insights into the challenges and possibilities of creating lifelike simulations. Notable philosophers and scientists have critiqued the simulation hypothesis, pointing out various theoretical weaknesses. This section reviews these critiques and explores specific experiments designed to test the reality of our universe, discussing their limitations and interpretative challenges. In this final part, we summarize the main points discussed throughout the essay, and reflect on the balance of evidence regarding the simulation hypothesis. We also consider potential future developments in technology and philosophy that could further our understanding of this hypothesis and how future generations might investigate these profound questions. This comprehensive exploration not only illuminates the fascinating aspects of the simulation hypothesis, but also invites readers to question the very fabric of their reality. As we venture beyond the conclusions drawn from our extensive discussion of the simulation hypothesis, we turn our gaze towards the horizon of possibilities that lie ahead. The advancements in virtual reality technology are not just reshaping our entertainment industries but are also providing profound insights into how such technologies could eventually mimic or even merge with our perceived reality. Imagine a future where virtual environments are indistinguishable from physical reality. Here, ethical dilemmas emerge. Should we create simulated beings with consciousness? What rights would these entities hold? These questions challenge our traditional ethical frameworks and necessitate a new paradigm of moral philosophy. Moreover, the rapid progression in computational power and artificial intelligence may soon provide us with the tools to either prove or disprove the simulation hypothesis. Scientists are already proposing experiments that could reveal underlying digital substrates of our universe. What if one day, we discover the code behind our existence? As we contemplate these future scenarios, we must also consider the implications of such knowledge. How would proving the simulation hypothesis alter our understanding of purpose and destiny? Would it lead to existential crisis or a new form of enlightenment? The path forward is fraught with complex challenges and profound questions, yet it is an inevitable journey driven by human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of understanding our place in the cosmos.